Colleen Doyle. I'm the Nutrition and Physical Activity Director for the American Cancer Society. I, I'm really excited that the American Cancer Society has now released Nutrition and Physical Activity for Cancer Survivors. Our guidelines include three, three real key recommendations right now. First of all is weight control, um, really watching your weight. We know that being overweight, uh, for years we've known that being overweight increases your risk of a variety of different cancers, of developing cancers. And now we see that in particular for breast cancer survivors, for colorectal cancer survivors, and for prostate cancer survivors, watching your weight is really critical um, after you've been diagnosed with those cancers because we're seeing that being overweight increases the risk of recurrence of those cancers and decreases the risk of surviving those cancers. Our second key recommendation is physical activity. For, you know, for years, same thing. We've been telling people to help reduce your risk of cancer, be physically active. And now, you know, we've known for years that in cancer survivors, being active can increase the quality of your life, decrease stress, um, really give you a sense of well-being and empowerment. But now the research clearly shows for breast cancer, for colorectal cancer, prostate cancer, and probably ovarian cancer too, being physically, physically active reduces the risk of recurrence of those types of cancers. Our third key recommendation for cancer survivors is diet. Um, we encourage all cancer survivors, certainly, to eat more fruits and vegetables, eat more whole grains. And we're seeing that breast cancer survivors, colorectal cancer survivors, and again, prostate cancer survivors, who, who eat mostly fruits and vegetables, who eat a lot of whole grains, who swap out red and processed meat and eat more fish and poultry, who eat lower fat dairy products. That type of dietary pattern we're seeing is, is, is associated with a reduced recurrence of a number of those different types of cancers as well. Really important important for us to focus on eating a healthy diet. We started looking at this issue in about 1999. We started to see some evidence um, that lifestyle matters in terms of cancer survivorship. And that evidence has just continued to grow. Now with these guidelines, with the evidence we have out there, um, we have much more confidence in being able to tell cancer survivors, watch your weight, be active, eat that mostly plant-based diet, eat more fruits and vegetables, eat more whole grains, because the evidence clearly shows that for a number of cancers, and, and the most common cancers, breast, colorectal, prostate among them, um, we know those things can make a real difference.